Sometimes your body can open up doors to where your mind cannot. So when I say that is because of all right, y'all, what's up? I'm back at it with another body game video. You know what I'm saying? Getting right, everything like that. But uh, so I really want to do this video. I want to jump in, jump into it. And it's really like secrets that men wish they know or they should know when on body game. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot. It's a, it's a, it's as wrong wheels start up the wrong wheels. It's the underworld. When you're dealing with body game, it's the underworld. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a whole different spectrum. It's a whole different lifestyle. And um, I'm going to give you my take on it. I'm going to give you all, like, my experience. I'm going to give you all, like, what makes it so attractive? You know what I'm saying? What makes it so magnetic to people? And, you know what I'm saying, what people should know, what people wish they would have known, you know what I'm saying, especially, too. So first off, when I get get to you is, like, on a, a physicality standpoint or, you know what I'm saying, from a physical, physique standpoint, for men, for understanding this, you have to understand that, yes, as men, our body goes through changes from like, uh, you know, saying from a kid to adolescence to teen to man or whatever like that. But on a physical level, man, the only thing separating us, the only, the only thing separating us from this is our physique. You know what I'm saying? From muscle tone to height to everything like that, man. That's the only thing that really separates you from being like a boy to a man and um i want you guys to understand that when you're working on your body you're at different stages of your life right so when somebody's looking at you they're trying to figure out at what stage you are in your life to even like you know what i'm saying start a family with you to see how like mature you are to see how disciplined you are how how good your body looks and everything like that and i want you guys to understand that that is such a deep a deeper level you know what i'm saying that's such on a deeper spectrum than what you think because that's how people define how they see you, you know what I'm saying, how they respect you, what they trial you, what they do to you, you know what I'm saying, it's all on a physical level. When they look at you, it's like it kind of also deters people when you're all on body game to make certain jokes about you, to disrespect you in a passive aggressive way, you know what I'm saying, because you will deal with passive aggressive when you're on body game from going like from where you were before to now. but. Really understand that, like, that's the thing. And that's what I'm saying. You guys don't want to deal with a lot of problems because somebody is saying something to you, because somebody is making a joke about you that you didn't find was funny. And that's what I want you guys to understand is, like, that is the number one thing. When people see your body, they figure out at what stage of life you're in. And you never want to be on a stage to where people see you as a boy and you are a man. Physically, you are a man. You know what I'm saying? Or they assume that you're younger than what you are, which is great. But physically they lose attraction. Physically, they're like, okay, well, it's not really the body type of the man that I like. You know what I'm saying? The man that I like, lust for, or yearn, yearn for. So that's one of the main things I want you guys to understand. It's like physicality. People are looking and they base decisions off of what they see. You know what I'm saying? What they're looking at. We're saying with jokes, everything. Everything is like that. And that's why I tell you, body game is such like an underworld secret. And a lot of people don't know about that. Next thing is body game makes a path for you so when i say body game makes a path for you basically what i'm saying is sometimes your body can open up doors to where your mind cannot so when i say that is because a lot of things are physical and because everybody is different everybody has different values what they find time in what's important to them morals everything like that but when you have a certain physique certain things you can do that other people can't do from an example of how a shirt fits i'm gonna give you an example everybody has a shirt right but when you're on body game and you're dealing with somebody who's not on body game somebody who is on body game that shirt is not going to fit the same way on everybody you know what i'm saying and some people when they're looking at a shirt they feel differently based on whose body that shirt is on so when i tell you guys to work on body game work on yourself is for you to understand from social aspects, people have an influence, a path. I'm saying people have, everybody has a path, everybody has an influence. And it's just that certain people who may be in positions of power may see you as more power or more have more influence than what you may think you have. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you guys understand is that influence is very, very powerful. 
influence determines decisions, influence determines, uh, you know, different opportunities you have, doors that you can open. And when you're practicing body game, the door is a lot wider than if you don't. Because it's like you never know how many times somebody searches up online how to do certain workouts, how to lose weight, how to lose intermittent fasting, different types of body weight exercises, body weight goals, how to get abs. And it's just like when you have that, you have a certain type of information and a manifestation of somebody that does not have that. So you just doing your day to day because becomes that much more attractive because you have the inner knowledge and you're showing people publicly Hey, I know how to do this. Hey, I know how to lose weight. Hey, I know how to look good. I know how to play sports. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that with body game, people don't understand how big fitness is, man. And that's just something that I had to learn as well. It's like when I was doing body game and everything like that, I started from doing hair videos to body game. And a lot of times people would ask me like, okay, like what's going on? But I had to understand that this is a bigger niche. You know what I'm saying? This is more like a lifestyle to where everybody can participate in. And I didn't really understand that at first. Like, I thought, like, you know, let me keep doing hair videos. Let me stop. But this is more so an aspect for me. And it's such a growing community. And I just want you guys to understand, when you tap into that body game uh, mindset, you tap into that body game um, physique, that influence is powerful, man. You will start understanding that, like, hey, people will try to go to the gym with you. People will try to work out with you. People will find out things to talk to you about just from the fact of, your body, it stands out from the West. rest, man. They'll start to figure out like, hey, man, I need to start working on myself. This is such a big influence that you don't even know that it's happening. It's subconscious. People are like, well, maybe I shouldn't go get this type of fatty food now. Or, you know what I'm saying, maybe I should hit the gym. Maybe I should work on my muscles. Maybe I should do this. This guy's jacked. This guy is big. Like, mind you, I haven't said anything. <laughs> Mind you, for you, you may have not said anything, but it's just your presence. Your presence strengthens when you walk in the rooms. Your presence speaks volumes without you even have to say anything. And that's why I tell you guys, body game is a silent killer. Body game is so powerful that you don't have to have certain things. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have certain accolades. You don't have to have a certain type of car. You don't have to have a certain type of lifestyle. You don't have to have a certain type of girlfriend and everything like that. But people will become more interested and what you do based off of you practicing body game, based off of you going to the gym, basically you being disciplined. It's just like people automatically assume or think, okay, what got, what else does this guy do? You know what I'm saying? What else does he have knowledge on? What? How did he get to this level? There's so many questions. And those questions opens up rooms for you. Those questions open up doors for you because people are struggling. You know what I'm saying? People are trying to get to where you're at. And I think that a lot of times people are so used to being where they're at, they don't understand how far they come. And this is something that I had to understand, too, is it's that when I first started into the gym, you know what I'm saying, when I start, first started posting and everything like that, to me, you know, everybody starts at zero. I wasn't really at the body that I wanted to, but I kept progressing. I kept growing. And it's like whether I realized that or not, people realized that. People saw that. And people were inspired. And that's influence. And that's why I had to understand is, is that, I'm not making these videos or I'm not doing body game just for me. Like I'm understanding that other people are benefiting from this. Other people are being motivated to the point where it's like, okay, maybe I mind you, I didn't say anything, but maybe I'm like, maybe I do want to um, be more impactful on body game. Maybe I do want to get my physique better. Maybe I do want to, you know what I'm saying? Just positive ideas to get your body right. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's all at the end of the day health as well. So because I'm promoting that and because I have a platform, it's influence. I want you guys to understand that. It's like influence is very, very important. A lot of times people talk about looks, money, status, but no one really talks about influence specifically. No one talks about how how somebody can walk into a room, instantly be attracted to you. Now, this person may have op more opportunities for you. Just because they're attracted to you, just because they're attracted to your body, they open up more doors for you to make more money. They open up more doors for you to uh, be connected with more people who are like-minded and that's just what i'm saying is that people are attracted to likes you know what I'm saying people are more interested in people who think like them and that's what i'm saying even for my my community it's like people hear me speak and they understand like hey i agree with this hey i resonate with this and it's like it's a fitness type community and that's what i'm saying it's so such a powerful influence because i'm able to talk to you guys and you guys can relate a lot of you guys played sports a lot of you guys had lots of girls whatever like that or had like the best banging body or you guys are at different ages and different stages 
but you guys can resonate with what I say because of influence. You guys understand that this happens when you practice body game. This is happening in a, this happens in a fit, fitness community. And I said, I'm saying all this to say is it's like, just be mindful that yes, you have thoughts. Yes, things affect you or don't affect you or whatever like that. But take it further than how you think. Look from a sociology standpoint. Look from a, a standpoint of being that, hey, you're not the only person in this world. Other people are looking to you to um, give them an impact. Or they're looking for you for advice. They're looking for you for guidance. Because it's things that you do on a daily basis that you're perfect at, that you do perfectly, and you don't know it. And that's what I'm saying is that when you practice body game, it strengthens that influence. It's, certain, it's some of you guys on here can make tons of money. It's certain guys on here, y'all can talk the girl out to do anything from influence from that. And so a lot of times you guys have the best hair because you guys can dress the best. Like you have all these like amazing things about yourself, but sometimes I'm telling you just that body game is sometimes stronger than that because the outside looking in a guy or a girl who's looking at a physique, a nice physique, a nice body is more primal. You know what I'm saying? It's more okay. Like you know what I'm saying? This this is a this is a nice physique. You know what I'm saying? This I don't really know much about this person, but I know this person has a physique that I like. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you guys is that. Add on to what you have going for yourself. If you're already smart, practice body game. If you're already rich, practice body game. It's like, why would you not pick up that emerald, not pick up that dragon ball? You know what I'm saying? Just actually do things that will make you a better person. And at, at, end, of, at end of the day, it's just self-improvement, like improving what you have, improving what you have going for yourself, improving uh, your standards, improving the people that are around you, pe making people better, leaving an impact. And that's really, really why we do it. You know what I'm saying? That's really why big body game is getting bigger because it's self-improvement and anybody can join. You know what I'm saying? It's just the discipline and time. And if you're willing to invest that, you know what I mean? So that's the interview, man. I just want to give you all that. That's pretty much secrets that a lot of people don't know. A lot of men don't know. A lot of women don't know, but I know because I'm in body games. So <laughs> that's the end of the video, man. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And I'm out.